Probably not, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. This window is disgusting. Yeah, no, I can't see anything. Yep, that's kind of gross. Um, so. Right. Yep. Why am I getting a battery drain already? If we need to reset, reset it, we can, I got. Do you want me to hold that and see if it, make sure it isn't your phone? For a little while, yeah, and see if uh, you get anything from it. I just want to test a test uh, thing, just make sure it's not the phone. You're not getting much anything, are you? No, and it's not my camera, so I know it's not the camera. Can you hold it for a little while? I think I just might be like, I'm just. I'm just testing this to make sure that it is not the phone. Oh yeah, there's those picnic tables we used to sit at. We can have our picnic here. All right. We have a steam engine somewhere in this building. Oh, yep, now I'm blinking again. Okay. I'm gonna uh, have you hold this for a little bit while I change the battery in the... Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. I... All right. <sighs> Okay. Yeah. This is an old sawmill, actually. Hmm. I did too. You heard that? Yep. I don't know if it's an actual person or it could be. Birds. Because lots of places for birds to roost up here, so yeah. No. Yeah, the temps only like fluctuated like two tenths of a degree back and forth, so nothing, nothing significant. So, um, 
yeah. Definitely not exactly something you want to run into in the dark. Although it would be kind of hard to do that, but definitely not something you uh, want to run into. Yeah. We are going to start making our way over to Hungry Watching to the native village. Um, and just walk around, see if we can get any feelings, anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, what? Trying to figure out a way to get through here without having to go through the water? <laughs> yes. Can you just sound like we uh, Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that was the phone again because you were kind of close. Yeah. Literally, I, all I gotta do is be like a couple feet from here. Yep, now it's going again. This is, yeah, this phone is giving off so much energy okay. right now. So, note to self, stay back a little bit if I don't want to listen to the beeping in my ear. That's not spirit beeping. Spirit beeping. Watch your step to the right of you. Just make sure you don't go down there. <laughs> that would kind of suck. That might be the end of our uh, walkthrough today. Good news, people. I'm also filming this with my really good camera. This little snappy actually takes better video than my $800 <laughs> night vision camera. This like takes cinematic quality video. Um, so good news, I will have videos up on YouTube at some point in time. Especially if I happen to come across anything that can't explain upon reviewing the evidence. Whether it be something audio, visual. This is just an initial walkthrough, but it's also partial investigation while we were out here. I'm getting that smell of uh, fire, sage, or Burning. Yeah. Oh, Somebody's remember? definitely burning something out here. Yeah. Oh man, it does smell like sage. Yeah, I mean, it, that was a it, strong smell of sage burning. Uh, it definitely does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes my signal again. Aw. So. Probably gonna lose the signal in the middle of the wood. Yeah, I just got a really strong whiff of sage burning that is indicative to spirits <coughs> native spirits especially which is something i've been really trying to make contact with for a really long time um it's the ottawa tribe that thorn apple band ottawa here it made it you actually haven't even seen you haven't seen the encampment yet have you no i haven't so that's cool I'll get the chance to do that. Hey, we're it. back. Hey, people. I know we keep cutting in and out. The signal not super strong. Um, Especially in the woods. <laughs> so I just wanted to state a little bit back there. We were starting to uh, smell sage burning. Um, and being that we're so close to a native village, that's really awesome things. That means we might have even come across uh a native spirit here uh this is the adawa nation um that had, had an encampment here um particularly the thorn apple band according to the sign so that was really awesome to have that personal experience so i gotta say uh miigwech to the spirits out here for giving us that 
sign of your presence. It's really cool to um, experience that. This is where a lot of the gardening back here took place. There used to be a really nice setup here. Um, when we do our night investigation, definitely want to have somebody sitting down here at what would have probably been the sacred uh, fire, and maybe try to conduct an EVP session. Maybe at this rock formation. Oh! But uh, yeah, I'm almost pretty certain that that was the uh, sacred fire. Over here is where they would grow their um, vegetables and fruit. Remember a few years back that was all set up with uh, gardening, blah, 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 gardening stuff. Are there any Anishinaabe spirits out here that wish to connect? Do you have any words you'd like to say? There used to be a path over here somewhere that took you right into the river. And let me see if it's down here. And they had a whole little setup here. Might be down further. This at one time was the most cleanest, freshest water. You could drink it with your own hands. Oh yeah, I got a couple bars now. <laughs> That's good. Any hits or anything? Nope. Just zeros? Nope, it's pretty flat. Okay. <laughs> Not going to go walking through this area. Oh, another good idea. No. <sighs> okay. The trail pipe continues on a little bit more. Whoa, watch your step. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whoa, there's a big old hole over there. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is the main path.
some see air prints. going out to some areas that I haven't even explored yet. So this is actually kind of cool. Yeah, here's just a random animal print on the ground. Deer print. I think it's a deer print, but that's only that's the only one. <laughs> a random one. Yeah. One deer print. Yep. Oh no, I'm seeing a little bit more, but right there, there was only one. It's probably a deer jumping across the path. Could be. Oh yeah, I'm starting to see a whole bunch more deer prints now. Taking some pretty nice video here. Doesn't this thing take some awesome video though? Yeah. Like it just seems so clear, clear and cinematic. Yeah. No, it's it's good. It's good. This is the way here to the rest of the native village. Ah. I don't feel like I'm in the presence of anything um, negative at all. There you go. All right. Watch your stuff, there's a bunch of rocks around here too. Hey Joe, if you can like go back at some point to where you heard that <laughs> and um, maybe like time stamp it for me so I can go back and listen to it. Oh. Dude, check that rock out. Rob Tassie Stone. That's pretty cool. Should keep that. I should keep that. That is a Rob Tosky Stone. That is pretty neat. <laughs> this ground got a little squishy there for a second. He said it's not a bird. There are spirits here, so it's very possible it could have been a native spirit, or any spirit for that matter. Okay, we're getting close. Just for the record, too, I have not had any spikes on this thing. That's good. Yeah. Not even really any fluctuations on the temperature either. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Well, at least we're on flat flat ground now. There you go. <laughs> 20 mile trek uphill both ways. All right. Ah. Uh. I think this is heading towards where the native village was. Man, we have benches for when we do our night investigation. If we need to sit, <laughs> or if we want to sit, rest, and EVPs or yeah, something like that. I'm gonna switch hands here with the camera and the. Oh. Okay, there's just a very slight temperature fluctuation, but nothing significant right there. Uh, Probably 
a little bit of a breeze or something, but nothing, nothing that I really make a difference. It is possible too that the native village might have got disassembled to prevent people from um, you know messing it up, graffitiing it. Yeah. Things like that. And it's sad that people do that, but Well, yeah, definitely is. It's, it's not cool. That uh No, this is definitely um, when we do our night investigation out here, definitely have to be careful where we're walking because the ground is really uneven and it's very rocky yeah. and holy. Like, there's a lot of holes in the ground out here, too. So, yep. um, you definitely have to be very careful walking out here. Hey, this, right. is, this is actually a cakewalk compared to um, the Pontiac Lake Recreation Area. Yeah. That is a rocky area. Huh. Knowing my luck, I'm the one who says be careful, and I'll probably be the one that gets hurt, so. I'm trying to figure out where that native village was. I thought it was, whoa. Whoa, speaking of which, <laughs> the crown. Whoa, this is Groundhog really Central. Here too. <laughs> um. So, hey everybody that's tuned in, watching. Uh, this is Ben with Ghost Track Investigations. We are at... Uh, the Carlton Park, Carlton Park in Hastings, East. Michigan. Um, we went to um, check out all the old buildings in the park, and there's also a native village here, which we are about to approach. Um, so if you're just watching, you know, we're almost to the point where it's at. So... Just want to let people know where we're at and what our plan is. Um, we are scheduling a night investigation sometime this summer. Oh, watch this stuff again. Yep, now we're now it's getting a little rough terrain. Mm -hmm. You drawing anything on your the EMF meter? Not a thing. Not a thing? No. No spikes. No no change really at all. It's pretty flat. Okay. Yep. This isn't the exact location where it was, um, because I think it might, there's other trails, other paths that lead further back uh, into the woods. Got it. Um, where it was, because I think they might have moved the path a little bit. Oh. Um, because we're back over here where the, uh, sawmill is. Sawmill is. Okay. Um, we can head back towards the car. We can. If you want, or try to continue backwards and go up the other path. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot more walking. A lot more walking. So, but I just want to give people a taste of the Carlton Park and it's a pretty um, cool place. They actually used to have during the powwow. They actually used to have the sacred fire okay. right around this area. Um Yeah. It was Well, they would have they would have one back here somebody would have one back here, Up here. 
Because oh. this is right, huh. it was about right here at the top of this hill. Oh, wow. Okay. Where we had a fire and I was gifted my name Strong Wolf. Okay. The right has, about right here. The sun has gone down just a little bit, but not, not into anything. There's a breeze in. coming from this way. Yeah, it's 73.2. It's kind of been holding down there for a little bit. Yep. So. Well, it was right in this area. Hmm. Right about where I'm standing. I was gifted my name Strong Wolf. And that name stuck with me ever since. I do miss this powwow up here. I really do. Yeah, I do too. That was a good one. Well, I think I'm actually going to wrap here in just a minute. Okay. This video is going to... I'll keep the live video going until we get oh, to okay. the car, but I'm going to wrap the other video. Sounds good. Don't mind the motorcycles. People have been flying around through here today. 